Let's write the name for BA3PO42. We'll use these rules here to help us write the name. So first off, we have barium, that's a metal. And then this PO4, this is a group of nonmetals. This is a polyatomic ion. So we have an ionic compound, that's why we're using these rules here. Next, this polyatomic ion, PO4, you need to memorize, or if you're allowed, look it up, that PO4, that's the phosphate ion, lowercase p, and we end up with barium phosphate. And that is the name for Ba3PO42. Because barium's in group two, it's not a transition metal, so we don't need to put any Roman numerals or anything like that, just barium phosphate. If you're given barium phosphate and you're asked to write the formula, you need to recognize that barium is two plus and the whole phosphate here is three minus. So we need these charges here to balance and the only way we can do that is have three bariums and two phosphate ions. So that gives us the formula Ba3PO42. There's a link in the description if you need help writing formulas. This is Dr. B with the name for Ba3PO42. It's barium phosphate. Thanks for watching.